les prier Eh hey, ma bébé, laisse les parler Dès ma lumière, y a que toi qui me fais prier Amour ah, bébé J'avais pas levé, j'avais tous les mecs sur le bas côté. Fais belle et tu vas câbler. Je me suis rendu, prends-moi cadeau. Dans les recoins de ma tête, y'a comme un truc qui m'a fait. Suis le faux pasteur et c'est ma conscience qui me l'a dit. Ok, je suis la cible, je prends tout le packaging. Je suis ok. Traite-tu de base, t'as adouci le bail. Comment faire, je deviens tête en l'air. J'ai pu le contrôle. De base, comment faire de ma tête en l'air? Tu me voulais, tu m'as eu, il a fallu me prouver ton amour. Tu me voulais, tu m'as eu, il a fallu me prouver ton amour. Ah oui, ah oui, la dot, bébé veut un gosse. Je finis one tête, moi je veux la vie de rêve. Ah oui, ah oui, la dot, bébé veut un gosse. Je finis one tête, moi je veux la vie de rêve. Si tu sais que tu peux pas payer, 
said, if there's any expectations from anybody in here, including the bride and the groom, that uh, what they know traditionally to be followed, there will be a lot of things skipped here. I'm going to go to the main point. Amen? Amen. And uh, because of time. So, one thing that I, I may not redeem your life, but I can redeem time. <laughs> Amen? So, we're going to go straight into that. Well, BDI, friends, invited guests, we all know why we are here. And we also know why God Almighty in His Holy Presence is here. I think probably maybe unless you're a gate crusher, but uh, everybody knows why they're here. And uh, for those who do not know why we are all gathered in this fashion, I will tell you why. We are here to witness, uh, I call it Matthias and uh, Josephine, do the right thing. Amen. 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 We all need to do the right thing in life. Amen. And they have decided to do the right thing. And what is the right thing? That is allow God to unite them in marriage. And, um, I don't know what your belief is, but we believe in what God has taught us in His Word that marriage should be. It's part of God's purpose here on earth and that marriage should be a permanent relationship between one male and one female who out of covenant love are totally committed to each other throughout this life as long as they shall both live. Remember, it was not the bishop or a boar or a synod or the presbytery that declared, it was God who declared, man, leave your father, leave your mother, get united to this your woman, and begin building your new family and home. And that way you are going to become one flesh. Amen. Amen. So like I said, I am going to redeem so that in no time we go to part two. But this part one is the most important. You can't have part two without part one. I know people do. You know, a lot of people celebrate without part one. But we're doing the most important one, part one. You understand? Okay. So. I'm going to say something before we actually go into the actual ceremony. Uh, they are building a home. And one of the greatest elements in building a family, a home, is covenant love. And the Bible does talk a lot about love, a covenant love. And uh, God is one of a covenant love. And one of the things in the book of Corinthians chapter 13, it tells us the importance of a covenant, a covenant love, which each one of us should bring in our homes, in our families. A covenant love. A love that has no reason covenant love, you cannot say I love you because. If there's a because to your love, it is not covenant. It's some other term of love. But covenant love has no because. I love you because. No. And once one of the important things why a marriage or a home should be built on this covenant love, looking at it from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, if there be no covenant love, there will be no patience, no kindness. Why? Because covenant love is patient and kind. And one of the things that you will need in a relationship is patience and kindness. Amen. Amen. If covenant love be short in supply in the home, there will be loads of 
superstitious or suspicious acts and thoughts. When there's no covenant love in a, in a home, there will be many cat and mouse fights. Before now, I don't know who was the cat and who was the mouse, <laughs> but with covenant love, amen, amen. the lion and the lamb will sit side by side. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to tell you that you've got to bring covenant love in any relationship, more so the relationship of a marriage. Because once covenant love is not there, it's inevitable that in the home there will be verbal or emotional abuse. For covenant love has no jealousy in it. Amen. Covenant love never inflates one to become big headed. You know what? It is very possible to be big headed in a relationship because we were groomed by people who themselves thought the bigger your head is in the home, the better the home will run. So we saw parents being big headed to one another. But covenant love destroys big headedness. One of the fights that come in a home is because somebody is the big boss. Somebody is a big boss. But covenant love is not arrogant. It's not true. Go home back. Go, go home when you get back and read 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I'm just trying to tell you the power of covenant love in our homes, in our relationships, in our love. I mean, in, in, in where there is fellowship, but in a marriage, so, because in a marriage, you're going to stick to one another like gum. The only place you will not follow you is when you're going to the toilet. But you're going to bath, you'll follow you. You follow each other to bed. You follow each other everywhere, to the kitchen, to the dining room. So there is that bonding. So there has to be covenant love. If love is not put in the forefront, in a home, if covenant love is not put in the forefront, do not happen, bullies will arise among you. Covenant love, it does not insist on its own way to check on you and make you say, you know what? Ah, let me make the other person happy. Amen. But if you don't have covenant love, you will always want to be made happy. And the other person must become happy because you are happy. Selfish. And I ask you, beg you, pray for you, that your home let it be led by covenant love. Amen. Let it be the major food your home eats. Amen. If you listen further, the Bible says covenant love is powerful. Why? It's not irritable. It's not resentful. It does not rejoice when the other partner makes a mistake. Nor does it threaten when wrong moves are done. Instead, it recalls the genuine and good and the many other right things done so that it rejoices. When you're living in a covenant love in a relationship, even when somebody makes a wrong mistake, covenant love will tell you and show you the other good things they have done. So that even when you talk and resolve, you're talking from a point where you also know that you're talking to a good person. To a good person. If you don't have covenant love, one mistake is all you see. 30 years, 40 years, 20 years, 10 years of good history is 
or thrown away because somebody made a wrong step. But when there's covenant love, you will think of the good that they did. Amen. I want you to know, please, get this thing called covenant love. Oh, I love, I love him. I love, yes, go beyond I love him. Get covenant love. You may have a great sex life. You may have many fun times. Oh, tremendous outings. Fine fellowship. But the greatest out of them all is covenant love. He said it ain't good for man to be alone. He was pointing to the fact that marriage is companionship. Amen. That is your companionship. He, she is your companionship. And this word companionship is a very strong word. It's, it's, a, it's an action word. For example, someone who's not there for you, you cannot describe them. When God said it's not good to be alone, let's talk about compassion, the com companionship. You've got to be there. And when I say to be there, for it to be companionship, I'm not talking about just there physically, but there emotionally, mentally, sexually, intellectually. You've got to be there. Some people, they are there physically, but the other person is alone emotionally. Alone mentally, intellectually. But you've got to share. You've got to be together. Amen. Amen. So, I'm going to say a lot. So, we're going to go to why we really are here. Amen. Amen. And I would wish. Amen. Amen. So smile. 
you're on camera. Amen. And the videos will be going and people will be asking. So, you want to take the following. When I mention your name, you are the one who is to answer. And I will help you how you're going to answer. I'm going to say something. And I want you to listen. I'll start with you, Brother Matthews. And uh, simple. At the end of what I say, you either agree with me with I will, or let me think about it. <laughs> or, or whatever. So, Brother Matthew, will you take this lovely woman you are looking at to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? Will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her in sickness, in health, adversity, and prosperity to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to talk to sister. Sister, would you take that uh, tall, handsome, clean shirt? <laughs> Gentleman that is staring you in the eyes, will you take him to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness? I'm telling you, <laughs> if it's Fufu that makes him happy, will you commit to that and his self fulfillment as a person to his usefulness in God's kingdom? And do you promise to love? Honor, trust, save him in sickness and in health, in adversity and in prosperity, to be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live. Yes, I will. Uh, where is the page boy? Where is the Yes. Okay. Can you come and stand here, young man? Okay. Can you stand here? Okay. Two lovely rings. Let me just get the rings and then pass through my hands. And, uh...
Jose. challenges that come 
Father Lord, that you shall provide the way, give them the wisdom they need. Father, I pray, bless them. Bless them. And Lord God Almighty, indeed, marriage is from you. And indeed, God, you can do a wonderful thing. And may you, O oh God, astonish them. Give them a testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're happy to an end. Listen. We're going to do, everybody here, let's do this from Numbers chapter 6, 24 to 26. You repeat, everybody repeat. I want thunderous repeating of what I'm going to read. Everybody say, the Lord bless you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.
of all, I would like to thank you guys for being here. Uh, it's a pleasure uh, being with you guys uh, tonight. I know most of you had something to do tonight, but you decided to be here with us. That is a sign of friendship, it's a sign of love, it's a sign of togetherness. And I really appreciate that. I would really like to thank you about all that. So, um, I won't waste more time, just want to let you know that Matt and Josie will be here within a short time. So, just hold on, and we're going to start very soon. Mesdames et Messieurs, bonsoir, bienvenue à tous et à toutes. Euh, déjà, j'aimerais m'excuser pour le petit retard que nous avons enregistré ici euh, depuis quelques temps. C'est bien prévu qu'on ait commencé euh, les choses un peu bien avant, mais malheureusement, on a travaillé sur pas mal de choses et on est légèrement en retard. Je vous prie, mesdames et messieurs, s'il vous plaît, de garder patience. Déjà, merci à tous et à toutes. Je vous remercie particulièrement d'être là ce soir parce que le fait que vous soyez là avec nous ce soir, c'est un signe d'amour, un signe... Euh, de tendresse, un signe d'amitié que vous avez envers euh, Matt et envers José. Et j'en suis vraiment ravi, j'en suis vraiment gratifié. Donc euh, gardez votre mal en patience, s'il vous plaît. Dans quelques secondes, on va commencer. Le mari et la mariée, ils sont pas loin, ils arrivent. Le temps pour nous de nous installer et les choses vont commencer. Ce soir à la platine, we have TJCP. With the assistant DJ Rascal, put your hands together for them. And uh, for the image and sound to make this moment unforgettable, to make it a souvenir that's gonna last forever, we have Mr. Lachi. Lachi son image, the best in town. Merci à tous et à tous. Bonne soirée. On va s'amuser. Soyez prêts. It's called Media to Africa. Media like M E D I A two like two the number Africa A F R I C A. You can find on YouTube, you can find on Facebook and all the social media. They're the best in town for all your events, for everything I'm gonna organize in the DMV. Please, the, and even out of DMV, because I remember some weeks ago we were in Ohio, in Columbus, for a particular event, and uh, the event was covered by Media to Africa. So, ladies and gents. If you have any event to organize, don't hesitate. You have to contact Media to Africa. We're so lucky that tonight the head of program is here. His name is Mr. Lachi, known by everyone. So uh, it's a pleasure for us to be with them tonight. And also to be with Gigi Sepe, DJ Rasco, and to be with all the guests, all the crewmates, all the crewmates here present tonight. So handsome guys and all the ladies. So beautiful. Uh, it's gonna be a colorful event. It's gonna be something unforgettable. It's gonna be something that we will keep talking about for years and years. So just hold on. The bride and the groom are not far from here. They're in the premises. They're in the premises already, and within some seconds, they will get in. Today, I would like to particularly uh, like to thank you guys. My first thanks goes to um, Better Days International Church. That is uh, the organization. I won't call it the organization. People used to call the church the organization, but Better Days, I don't want to call them organization. That's a family. Amen. Better Days International Church is a family. That is the way I like to talk about them. Everything that you see here tonight They've been working from the beginning to the end. Amen. They've been working without resting. And when I look here, I look at the beautiful ladies, I look at the handsome man, I try to imagine the soul that they can have. I try to imagine the spirituality. I try to imagine the faith. And the first thing I can say is, be calm, be cool. You're in good hands. Thanks to Better Days International Church. <laughs> C'est aussi l'occasion pour moi de remercier tous les invités, tous les gars de la Première Ligue, tous les amis de Matt et de José. Vous avez longtemps bossé pour ça. Vous avez, vous n'avez ménagé aucun effort pour que la soirée d'aujourd'hui puisse être un succès. Il est déjà un succès parce que vous êtes là ce soir. 
Parce que DJ ZP, il est là, avec son assistant Didier Rasco. Parce que Media Tour Africa est là ce soir, représenté par le directeur de programme, M. Lati. Et parce que vous êtes tous ensemble ici ce soir, mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gents, I would like you to stand up and put your hands together for the bride and the groom. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for Mike and Jose. Yeah. Thank you. 
te bénisse, oui. Ça a commencé très fort. Je vais demander au mari à la mariée de regarder la place, je vous en prie. The groupmates and the bridesmaids, please. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Things have started so early. Things have started so early. It's so early. People have started dancing. I started dancing as well. Ah, ça c'était pas prévu dans le programme. C'était pas prévu que je commence à transpirer tout de suite. À peine qu'ils sont rentrés, j'ai commencé à transpirer. Ça veut dire que ça a déjà... Ça veut dire que ça a déjà... Voilà ça où... Aïe, aïe, aïe. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Le temps pour nous, que le mari et la mariée regardent leur place. Ok. Ladies and gentlemen, I just said some minutes ago, the two people that you see here, Matt and Jose, they're so happy tonight that they're speechless. I'm not even sure that they could be able to give you guys a welcome speech. Because when I look at them, I look at the face they have, they look awesome. And behind the face they have, I can read something. Two words. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight, first of all. And thank you for all the efforts that you guys have been doing, all the efforts you guys have paid for this event to be a success. The way things are gonna work tonight, we're gonna make a back and forth. We all know we're in the US, but also what we know is that the United States of America is not what people want us to believe because this is a country of all men. It's a country of people who all came from somewhere else. And this is not a country within which you can tell somebody, go home because nobody is home here. When I talked about going back and forth, is we're gonna make it between the African tradition, the way back home tradition, and the African tradition, and the American tradition, and all, because it's a mixture of everything. D'abord, pour commencer, il est de tradition chez nous de donner la parole à ceux-là qui sont les doyens, à ceux-là qui sont ce qu'on appelle souvent chez nous, au Cameroun, dans le centre, les Nyamoro. Les Nyamoro, c'est ceux-là qui voient plus loin que nous. Ils sont assis, mais ils voient plus loin que nous qui sommes debout. Et c'est une tradition pour nous de leur passer d'abord la parole, avant qui que ce soit. C'est vrai que cette soirée, c'est un honneur à Matt et à José. Mais au-dessus de Matt et José, il y a d'abord des Niamoro, il y a des grands, il y a des personnes qui particulièrement ont œuvré pour que cette soirée soit un succès total. Il y a une personne très particulière. That is somebody He's been present for these people that you see here tonight. He was present for Jose and for Matt from the beginning to where we are. And for sure, he's going to be present for the future and for the forthcoming years. And particularly, Jose and Matt asked me, they came to me and they said, please, when we have our party, of a wedding party, we would like him to be the first person to take the floor and say something to the beautiful public here present. So, ladies and gentlemen, his name sounds American, like Harold. When I listen to the name, I'm like, Harold? Is he coming from Vegas? They say no. They say he's a very handsome man. And when you see him, 
you got to know why we call him Herod. I know he's married because if he isn't, he's going to have a hard time tonight. <laughs> and even if he is, he's still going to have a hard time tonight because when I look at him, the way he's dressed, the handsome that he looks like, that's pretty. Please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Harold. Harold, please, put your hands together. That's what he is. This one. This one. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Harold Tava. I'm uh, Matthias' big brother. If we are here today, is to celebrate uh, something particular which is uh, love. And what is love? Love is what we are seeing right now. Uh, a few years ago, Matthias and Josephine didn't know each other. And uh, they met somewhere. And uh, the la suite nous connaissons. La suite is ce que nous voyons là maintenant. Si nous sommes réunis aujourd'hui, c'est pour euh, célébrer le mariage et comme on dit dans notre tradition, euh, personne ne peut stopper ce que Dieu a réuni. Et je voudrais euh, avoir leur adresse une prière pour célébrer la réunion, même comme nous avons déjà célébré cette réunion à l'église, cette réunion à l'église. Euh, je voudrais euh, dire une prière que tout le monde connaît à prier de notre Père qui est aux cieux et j'espère que tout le monde est familier à cette prière. Euh, si vous avez une minute, vous pouvez dire cette prière. Notre Père qui est aux cieux, okay. comme nous pardonnons aussi à ce qui nous a offensé et ne nous soumettons pas à l'heure. What you have offered to us today and uh, Merci, monsieur. Now, we're going to give the floor to a very beautiful lady. And for sure, she wasn't expecting that because nobody was expecting what's going on tonight. I work with Madame Jose on the program, and they're very surprised that what's going on is out of that program. What I'm doing is a complete mess. I don't, want it, I don't want it to work the way we planned. Because I wasn't sure that I could meet handsome guys and beautiful women, and beautiful women tonight as I'm witnessing tonight. So as I saw you guys, I just got crazy. And I said, OK, let's walk out of the problem, out of everything that was supposed to be. I'm going to do it my own way. And we're going to like it. The lady, she is the half of somebody who is very important to Jose. And uh, the first, on the, in the first program that we had, it is the man that was supposed to take the floor and say something. But where Jose comes from, where she comes from, is in the center area of Cameroon, but you have to cross a bridge called Sadaga. And when you cross that bridge, um, the people who live over there, uh, they call the area Mbam, like a region, it's called the Mbam. And in that region, women are so beautiful that sometimes, without even liking it, we go through what white men usually call gender equality. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes it's kind of hard. So that's why tonight we're going to give the floor to a lady instead of the man. But the lady, she represents 100% the man. That's right. Please put your hands together for Miss Balvin Mundo. <laughs> Madame Balvin Mundo. Les choses vont marcher en décalé. Des applaudissements pour Madame Albin Boudon, je vous en prie. Ah, qu'est-ce qu'elle est jolie. Qu'est-ce qu'elle est jolie, cette dame. Regardez-la, regardez-la, qu'est-ce qu'elle est jolie. 
Donc, bonsoir à tout le monde. Euh, merci euh, au couple Maga pour l'honneur de nous faire ce soir. Euh, je ne sais pas. Je ne sais vraiment pas quoi dire. Tout ce que je veux dire, c'est je, je vous souhaite, c'est vous souhaitons euh, la bienvenue. Et nous souhaitons de passer des moments agréables parmi nous. Et à eux, nous leur souhaitons vraiment un bon, bon chemin, que l'Éternel puissant les, les soutienne, c'est-à-dire que ce soit dans les moments difficiles ou les, moments, les, les bons moments, qu'ils ne se découragent pas, qu'ils se soutiennent les uns les autres et qu'ils cultivent beaucoup, beaucoup l'humilité, la vérité, la sincérité et toujours confier tout ce qu'on a, tous ces problèmes que nous, que nous pouvons avoir, les confier à l'éternel. Tous les seuls qui sont tous les autres, qu'ils soient bénis. Et nous vous disons merci d'être là et que le Seigneur vous ramène à vos domiciles respectifs. Merci. My jacket on, my pants, my shirt. I was sure that I was going to be the most handsome guy tonight. And that I was going to get out of here with a lot of phone numbers. But unfortunately, there is somebody who is more handsome than me. And I'm a little bit upset with that. But the thing is, if I show him I'm upset, he's not going to pay me so. Let's forget about that, okay? Je vous demande, s'il vous plaît, put your hands together for Matt and Jose. Thank you for coming. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. So thank you, thank you. And I see my fellow friends and colleagues in the back. Thank you guys, thank you for coming. Um, parts of my family too back there, thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, well, it's, uh, we decided to put this together for you to magnify our unity and uh, say thank you. That's what I, all what I have to say. I'm so thankful, so grace, so thankful to God, and uh, all what I can say is thank you. Bonsoir à tous. Sorry, I'm speak in French. So. Bonsoir à tous. Merci d'être venu à cet événement pour nous honorer. Vous savez, uh, Matt et moi, uh, nous vivons ensemble depuis un bout. Beaucoup de gens connaissaient notre chemin, nous avons fait, le chemin que nous avons fait. Matt et moi, nous avons décidé de nous mettre ensemble, euh, de concrétiser notre union, devant Dieu, devant l'Église qui nous a accueillis. BDD et Dieu national. Je euh, la grâce des membres de cette Église. Nous sommes arrivés à ce que vous voyez aujourd'hui. Et vraiment, nous remercions l'Éternel, le pasteur, et tous les membres de cette église pour leur soutien depuis euh, l'annonce de, ce, de cet événement. Nous remercions pour cet événement et pour ce soutien. Merci à vous. Également, je voudrais dire merci à toute la grande famille de Mbambi et sur les États-Unis qui est là pour vous. Merci également pour votre soutien. C'est très important, vous savez, euh, quand vous êtes loin de vos parents, Crève de vos parents et que vous trouvez des gens qui vous accueillent comme petites soeurs, euh, soeurs, tantes, filles, enfants. C'est très, très important pour moi, cela me voit grand cœur. C'est pour cela que nous avons voulu faire ça avec vous, partager cela avec vous aujourd'hui. J'ai dit aussi également merci à tous mes collègues qui sont là présents, tous mes collègues, tous mes amis. Euh, vraiment, merci de me soutenir, merci de soutenir nos unions. Vous savez, c'est vrai, le mariage, c'est une union avec deux personnes. Mais je pense que nous serons encore plus forts avec vos conseils, comme vous avez toujours fait. Merci, ne nous lâchez pas. Veillez toujours sur nous en tant qu'aînés. Un conseil ne sera pas le refus. Merci encore d'être venu et passer l'agréable moment dans ces soirées. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. She said, how did this stop? Oh, I don't know. Don't ask me. 
And uh, she asked another question like, do you think Matt is a good man? I was like, I don't know. So the best way for me to give you guys answers about all your questions is to let Matt and Jose come down here for the groom and bride game. Please put your hands together for them. <laughs> Nothing is expected. This wasn't planned. Okay. You sit here, Jose. And you sit here, Matt. Okay. I'm gonna ask you something you didn't expect. Please take off your shoes. Yeah. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time. Please help them. Help them. Take off your shoes. Okay. We're gonna have a good time. Nothing was nothing is working as planned. Okay. Okay, uh Matt, could you please give one side of your shoes to Jose and Jose please give one side to Matt. Please give him one side of the shoes. Aha. Uh -huh. We're gonna have a good a great time. Nothing is working as planned. For sure they're gonna hate me. For sure. <laughs> because when I look at the way Matt is looking at me, okay, you take take the shoes in your hand. Take the shoes in your hand. Take the shoes, take it in your hand, take it in your hand. Take it up in your hands, in your hands. Yeah, take the, take them, take them. They do good thing, they do good thing. Okay, the dishes shoes. They do, they do, they do. Okay. For for you guys to know what's the game like, the silver, let's call it silver shoes, is Jose, and the black shoe is Matt. So for us to know how things are gonna work, please Jose and Matt, raise Jose up. Jose, Jose, raise Jose up. Matt, Matt, don't put your shoe, don't put that, don't put that. I can't, I can't let you see it. I can't let you see it. Okay, put Jose, Jose up. Jose up, okay, down, and Matt up. Okay, so let's start. They got the point. First question. No, you put it, put it down. First question. Who was the first one? Who first said, I love you? Raise the shoe. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next question. Who between Matt and Jose is the best cook? Okay, so Jose is the best cook, right? That's natural. Okay. Next question. Who is the most caring with the kids? Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Next question. Who has the better handwriting? The better handwriting. Do you get things that this is going to last? Ah, oh, I'm scared a little bit. Next question. Who, and for this question, those from uh, Better Days International Church, they're going to help me. And you will tell me if the answer is good or not. Who is likely to fall asleep in church? Tonight. I hope they answer your questions because I'm not with you. Who is better at planning events? Like planning events. <laughs> Next question. Who is the most patient? Okay. Who is likely to 
to get angry. Okay, the next question is, when you get into an argument, who has the last word? Here is the only move. <laughs> Who? I know this answer already, but I'm, I'm going to ask the question, but I already know the answer. That's natural. Who takes the longest to get ready? Oh. <laughs> Who takes the longest to get ready? <laughs> Who do you think is right? Who do you think here has the right answer? Matt or Jose? <laughs> Who has the, the right answer? Mark or Jose? Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Okay, and let's go on. We'll see who's the winner. Next question. Ah. The next question. Who is more likely to smile? No! <laughs> We're talking about the families, the Jose's families and Matt's families. Whose family is the more lovely? Okay. Next question. Who is better at saving money? Saving money. Who is better? <laughs> so when you guys go to the mall, something probably happens. Next question, who looks, JJ, shut down the music. Okay, now it's getting more serious. Okay, thank you, JJ. Who looks the more amazing tonight? <laughs> women's privilege, right? Yeah. It's women's privilege. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Right, so, who do you think is the best person in the house? Matt or Jose? Matt. Who is the best person? Please clap for that, please. Number, another question. The question before the last. Who is the most crazy? <laughs> and the last question, what is that? Personal question? Now I will take the other question. This is a little bit tricky. I didn't write this question. I don't know who will put it down. I don't want to ask it because I don't want them to hit me more. Um, let's take another question. Now we'll finish with that. And knowing that if they get upset, I will just take the way out. So, this question is, who is the best dancer? <laughs> we'll see that. We'll see that with the GJ. The GJ is there. I don't consider this answer because we're going to see it with the GJ when time comes. But from what I've seen since the beginning, since they got in, it's going to be a good challenge between both of them because anyone has something hidden somewhere. Okay, so the last question is, so for this question, Jose and Matt, really, I would like to apologize. I didn't write it down, it's not my question. My paper was over there, somebody came and wrote, and wrote it on my paper. It's not, the question is not from me. So if you wanna get upset, you're gonna get upset with the person who wrote down the question. I didn't write it at all, so. Don't put the blame on me, okay? <laughs> when? Let me read it. I don't know who put it. <laughs> when both of you are in the bed, <laughs> in the night, who is likely to start to start? <laughs> 
My English, my English is over here. I can't really get around. But sorry, my English is over. It, it's, it's English, but I can't really. Uh, when I was learning English, we didn't we didn't do this. The teacher didn't do this. I, I'm sorry. Okay, so okay, let me just take it. When both of you are in your bed in the night. Who is more likely to start asking the question? <coughs> honey, honey, are you sleeping? <laughs> honey, are you sleeping? <laughs> answer, answer, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, who do you think won the game? <laughs> who do you think won the game? <laughs> who think Matt won the game? Raise your, put your hands up, put your hands up for those. And for those who think Jose won, won the game. <laughs> Nous allons applaudir à José Matt, s'il vous plaît, pendant que nous allons assurer. Là, euh, nous sommes arrivés au moment que j'attendais le plus personnellement. Euh, pour cette fête, j'ai fait le jeûne pendant quatre jours. Je buvais juste, je ne mangeais pas. Et quand j'ai vu ce qu'il y a sur la table, euh, je pense que j'avais raison de jeûner. So as I was just saying, we got to the point, the most expected point. That's the point I was personally, I was expecting the most. Because I've been fasting like four to five days prior to this celebration. And when I look at everything that we have on the table behind, I think I was right to fast. Because I'm going to have a good time tonight. But before we get there, I would like to call Reverend Labor. Please put your hands together for Reverend Labor. Thank you, Lord, tonight. We give it the praise. We give it the glory for it belongs to your God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for our brother, Matthias and Josephine, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for what you have started. Father, you are the one who have began the institution of marriage. You shall see them through. We shall sustain and strengthen them, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, Lord, we pray that, Lord, tonight may you grace in this occasion. We pronounce your blessings, Lord, upon this place. We pronounce your blessings, Lord, even upon the food tonight, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we declare everything sanctified by your blood and covered by your blood in Jesus' mighty name. We pray, amen.
all to enjoy your meal and thanks for being here again. Thank you. She did it. She did a good job, a great job. But for gender equality too, I want a man to say something. And he's here. Please welcome Pastor Smeon. Please put your hands together for Pastor Smeon. So I thank God you came. So the mic is, to, is over to you, Pastor. <laughs> well, I think. Uh, I spoke a lot in the, during the morning. I think I spoke a lot during the morning. And uh, uh, we are all happy, I believe. I'm happy. And uh, it's a beauty that uh, we are all gathered here and uh, we're celebrating. Amen. Uh, all I can encourage is that uh, we keep praying for our couple here and uh, I can see that uh, we're all filled with the Holy Spirit so since we're all filled with the Holy Spirit I think the feeling of the Holy Spirit is making us stop so I'll just not waste a lot of time, but to say well done. 
and may God bless you. Amen. And may God people, may many, many people here, you know, get encouraged. Amen. And uh, many become brave to follow your footsteps. Amen. Thank you very much. Well, as I told you guys, um, I'm back to my question. That was the question before the last. Who is the best dancer in the couple between Matt and Jose? Matt said he's the best, and Jose said she's the best. So now has come the time for us to know. Ladies and gents, it is now, now and now. The time has come for us to know who is the best dancer between Matt and Jose and GJ. When you're ready, just, aha. Uh -huh. GJ is thinking about it. He's not ready for the check because he knows it's gonna be hot. He knows, the GJ knows. He's making some signs like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. But we have to do it tonight. We have to do it tonight because we're here for that. We have to have great time. We have to have joy. We have to celebrate love. And give me the occasion once more to thank Better Life, Better Days. It's better Days is Better Life. The life in God is the better life. And the days spent in God is, are the better days. So I call you Better Days Family, Better Life Family, it's all the same. It's about spirituality, it's about love, it's about faith, the faith in God. Better Days International Family, Better Days International, I'm not calling it a church, for me it's a family. Better Days International Family, uh, all the guests, DJ Zepe, your present media to Africa, covering the event, represented by Mr. Lati the head of programs and the whole family and DJ Zippe when you're ready just let me know man I'm waiting for you, I'm ready for that you can see I'm ready, yeah <laughs>
see on my left hand, you see the lady with a lighter in the hand. And I listen to her saying something that made this lighter that I'm going to use to light the candles be the light that's going to shine in your life. That's why I heard her saying. So please, Miss do it. Miss Justine, let the light shine. Mr. Justin, please, let the light shine. Je vais vous demander à 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Let the light shine. Let the light shine. Je vous en prie, euh, que cette lumière continue à briller au sein du couple Samba, que cette lumière ne puisse jamais s'éteindre, que cette lumière soit la lumière de leur amour. Merci à tous et à tous. Je vous prie d'avancer, d'avancer vers le gâteau, s'il vous plaît. Les dames, apportez le petit couteau. Can you come forward? We're going to share the champagne and share this moment, please. Can you please come forward, ladies and gentlemen? Est-ce qu'on veut approcher, mesdames et messieurs, je vous en prie? Approchez, approchez, je vous en prie, mesdames et messieurs. Approchez avec vos coupes. Je pense que c'est comptable. Vous avez chacun une coupe de champagne. I think you have a glass. A glass on your table for the champagne, please. Can you come forward with your glasses?
wedding ceremony that we're gonna have is her ceremony. Okay? So you three step here, you come on, come on ladies, come on, step here. Now the Jean Reste, je ne veux pas ça dedans. Okay, so on va décompter. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Get ready, get ready, ladies. Six, five, four, three, two, one, go!
Thank <laughs> you.